Oh my goodness, this blowout turned out way better than I thought it would. This is the first time I've used this particular technique to do it, and I'm definitely not mad at it, y'all. This glue this wig install turned out so freaking cute. Are y'all seeing this blowout though? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna show y'all how I did a blowout on this Yaki straight wig. Y'all already know Yaki straight wigs are normally a little harder to curl, but this one definitely does hold a curl. If you want bigger or more defined curls with this hair, you can definitely do that. But I was going for like a fresh out of the salon blowout kind of look. I did it with a curling iron and I also did it with these big rollers. You can use some smaller rollers if your hair is shorter or if you want the hair to have more of like a curl, a wave to it. In order to really get this blowout look, you're going to have to layer your hair. That's major key. I show you how I layered this wig and everything. Today's wig install is courtesy of I See Hair. This wig is from their princess collection. Of course, it is an MCAP unit, so it has lace from here to here. It is a nine by six inch HD lace closure. And this wig is 24 inches long, y'all. The texture of this wig looks so nice and natural. And then when you do a blowout on this hair and just add some layers, like, ma'am, you can take this baby on and off and just add the curlers at night on your wig stand and <laughs> she's gonna be good to go in the morning, okay? If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead, click that subscribe button down below. Make sure that that bell is turned on so you're notified as soon as your girl posts a new video. And if you would like to see how I achieve this blowout on this Jackie Straight MCAP wig from Icy Hair, you know what to do. Definitely keep watching. Always in me, Commonwealth, Lil' Joe, getting love from my city, yeah. I roll call for the DMV, in my own lane, you could still ride with me, yeah. No one knows I made mistakes, you won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support, just to know I'm important. I won't ever sell myself short, cause I know you'll see me on the come up. Greater. I am no wave, be 
surfing. I show you what I get to pay. Who are we stacking? Been in a whole lot of pain. Now we laughing. Me and Bay making plays till we crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to be on the scene. We are the scene. Yeah. Dripping wet from head to toe, little baby me. Yeah, I get what's mine. That's for mine. Be my ride. That I stay down. We eat a pass in the past. That's all done now. Glad that we stay down. We gon' pull up in a whip, start a new trend. Every inch of our skin is the blueprint. Follow the lines. They act like they forget. Let's remind them. Be my right. So I went ahead and I did my makeup, y'all. I know the wig has slipped back a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and take these rollers out and these pins. In the back, I ran out of rollers, so I just kind of clipped the hair in the back. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I want this to look kind of like a blowout. So let's just go ahead and start removing everything. I never use rollers like this, so maybe I'm not removing it right, but it didn't seem to do anything. If I did something wrong, let me know what I did wrong, y'all. I mean, I'm just trying to give the hair some body, so maybe it's doing what it needs to do. Okay, it's doing a little some, some. I see, but like the pin curls is doing something more. But I think both combined is gonna be really pretty once I just like 
brush it out. So let's go ahead and remove the clips on this side now. You should start from bottom and work your way up. That's like the easiest way to do it. Let's see what's going on with these top layers. That's two. That's three. And lastly is this one. So let's fix this lace. So I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and just comb through it. It just added quite a bit of body to the hair. The curls are not like as big as I would like them to be, but I also use really big curlers. So I think I would use maybe some smaller curlers on the bottom for next time, but the layers definitely add some oomph in the hair. Okay, y'all. I think that turned out super cute. I'm not gonna hot comb the hair up top because it's gonna take away from the volume. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Kenra volume spray and just spray it underneath just to give the hair some more volume up top. And I'm gonna do the same on this side too. Oh my goodness, this blowout turned out way better than I thought it would. This is the first time I've used this particular technique to do it. And I'm definitely not mad at it, y'all. Not mad at it at all. I think it looks super cute. It looks a lot more layered and PC than it did straight out the box because this is straight hair. I just wanted to give it a little extra jizz. So I had the curls in while I was doing my makeup. If y'all want a makeup tutorial, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. But the fact that this wig is completely glueless, she is a stunner. She is a showstopper, okay? Highly recommend y'all check out this wig from Icy Hair. This is another MCAP wig and this Jackie Straight texture definitely did not disappoint. I will leave a link down below to Icy Hair's website as well as any coupon codes that they provide me with. So definitely go check that out so you can save some money on your purchase. And if you have not already watched my latest video, I filmed the Sephora Ulta haul video and I share a bunch of new products that I'm super excited to try. So definitely check it out.